Okay, um, welcome back to uh, Real Analysis. Uh, we've been spending the first couple of weeks constructing the real numbers, and now we're going to turn to um, uh, a particular uh, proof technique that's going to come up a lot as we move forward, and that's the principle of induction. So today's lecture is completely about induction. Uh, and once we have established this proof technique, we'll be moving uh, into chapter two of the textbook, which will be um, learning about the topology of the real line. Okay, so uh, let's, let's begin. So many of you have encountered induction already, perhaps in uh, a calculus course or um, maybe uh, discrete mathematics. Uh, but I want to say uh, a bit about induction here because not everybody's seen it. And there are some uh, subtleties which uh, I think would be good for us to, uh, to uh, explore. So uh, what is induction? Well, uh, induction actually uh, take, takes a, a couple of different forms. Um, it, it, you can think of it as a proof technique, but it, it really, uh, you should think of it as a, 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 an axiomatic um, property of uh, the natural numbers. So let's, uh, let's begin uh, with the natural numbers. So let's, uh, let me just remind you uh, what we're going to think of as the natural numbers here. Natural numbers uh, I will think of as uh, starting with 1, and it's the positive uh, integers, if you like. Uh, and we'll think of these as the natural numbers. Actually, that the, the fact that this particular set begins with 1 is, is sort of inconsequential. It, we could also develop what we're going to talk about starting with 0, but I'm going to think of starting with 1 here, uh, just because it's, uh, I'm going to think of these as indexing statements that we want to prove. So let me start by telling you one property of uh, the natural numbers that might be hopefully self-evident. And that's something called the well-ordering pro property. So what is the well-ordering property of the natural numbers? And if you don't mind, I'm going to abbreviate this by WAP. I don't have to rewrite it. The well-ordering property of the natural numbers says the following. It says that every, well, first of all, it says that n is well-ordered. So I have to tell you what that means. So what does it mean for a set to be well-ordered? Well, it means that every, if you take any non-empty subset, so every non-empty subset, Uh, of the uh, natural numbers has a, a least element. Okay, so the natural numbers are endowed with a, an order, which is the one you usually think of. Uh, one is less than two, is less than three, is less than four. Okay, if you're worried about that axiomatically, you could begin with. Uh, constructing the natural numbers uh, using Piano's axioms. Okay, if you want to uh, look that up, Piano is spelled P-E-A-N-O. There are five axioms for the natural numbers, uh, and it, it usually begins with, actually, in, in in most versions of Piano's axioms, it begins with zero. You postulate the existence of a zero. Okay, and then you postulate the existence of a successor function which basically tells you what the next thing is. Okay, so 0 has a successor, we'll call it 1. 1 has a successor, we'll call it 2. 2 has a successor, we'll call it 3, etc. Okay, and there's a few more axioms, but um, starting with those axioms of uh, the natural numbers, they're called Piano's axioms, you could develop an order. Okay, so 4 is bigger than 1 if it is an eventual successor of 1. Okay, if you want to go back that far, okay. We're going to uh, uh, just start, uh, s assume that we have an order already on n and uh, w the, a particular order, and the claim is that that is a well-ordering 
it has this uh, special property. How many people think this is sort of a self-evident property of the natural numbers? Mm, not necessarily self-evident? Okay. Um, we're going to take it to be an axiom, okay, for the natural numbers, okay? Okay, well, what you may not realize is that this is, in fact, uh, related to uh, the principle of induction. So let me just summarize what I just said here. Um, you can think of, so let me remark, you can take the well-ordering principle to be an axiom. That is uh, something we assume, we do not prove. It is something we assume about the natural numbers. Now, it is, I claim, related to the main topic of this course, which is the principle of induction. How many people have actually encountered induction in a previous course? Okay, most of you. What is the principle of induction? Well, it says the following, which I'll, I'll let you decide if it's self-evident. Suppose I have a subset. So let's let S be a subset of the natural numbers with two properties such that two properties hold. The first property is that one is in the set. <coughs> and the second property is if some number little k is in S, then also, little k plus 1 is in S. So this is, I'm going to put commas here because I haven't finished the thought, such that uh, 1 is in the set, and if something is in the set, then its successor is also in the set. Okay? If you have a set with these two properties, then I claim there's, we can conclude something. Then, in fact... What kind of set must S be if it contains one? And if it has the property that if it contains something, it contains something plus one, what, what set must it be? Must be all of the natural numbers. Okay. This is uh, the principle of induction. This is the, the, the principle we want to explore today. How many people would say this seems self-evident? Self-evident? Do you think it requires proof? How many people think it requires proof? Maybe, yeah. I mean, so Moira, would you say, you say this requires proof, would you say, did you, what did you think about the well-ordering principle? Does it require proof, or was that self-evident to you? Just give me your opinion. <laughs> yes, okay, so you say that it, it, it seems, that seems more self-evident than this. How many people think that this property seems more self-evident than this one? How many people think this one seems more self-evident? Vote. <laughs> vote, everybody vote. Form an opinion. How many people think the well-ordering, if, if you were willing to take something to be axiomatic, which, which would you rather take to be axiomatic? This property, well-ordering principle? Or the principle of induction. Let me see by a show of hands. How many people would vote for this one? How many people would vote for this one? Okay, Sam is, is happier with this principle, yes? Well, the good news is, good news for everybody is, uh, in fact, these two, uh, these two properties are, uh, in fact, equivalent properties. So you could take either one to be axiomatic but we will take one of them to be axiomatic, okay? So um, here's the, uh, the thing that's interesting is, uh, and in fact, I'm going to, if you don't mind, abbreviate this by POI, 